Monday, straight ahead. Now with your seven first alert forecast, here's meteorologist Andy Parker. All right, 545 on the button. So much emphasis was put on snow this week. We thought we'd take a look at the snow so far. Now I know in sections of the southern tier, this happened in about in, uh, an evening or an overnight, but this is a Buffalo Airport. So far this season, 13 and a half. That's actually ahead of schedule. 8.8 .8 is the average through normal through the end of November. And before we get to the end of the year, we've got to get up to around 95. That's six and a half feet. Shouldn't take long, right? We'll have next week to see some more snow. Not going to happen this weekend. It's just it's a good bet that most folks are going to melt off most of the snow they have. And we'll be back to green grass north of the thruway sections of the southern tier. Severely reduced snow piles. Let's just say that 33 with barely a breeze. A lot of threes. If you were looking for a number to play in tonight's lottery, there you go. And as we look around the region, you're going to see a lot of those again along the thruway out to Rochester. Not a whole lot of change between north and south. Lake Erie is 42 degrees statistically two degrees below normal for this time of year. The warmest it's ever been is the upper 40s and the coldest is about 37. So we're smack dab in between. We're locked in the 30s here, but the 40s already beginning to appear at the other end of the lake and near 50 in Cincinnati. Those greens are going to move into western New York for the second half of the weekend. Wait till you see these numbers. Can't wait to show you seven super Doppler all free and clear, but we can find the snow just north of Springville on those uh, hills in Colden along Route 240 as it snakes through the valley. No new snow today, but they do have a trail base between one and three feet, and it is definitely machine groomed, but don't take my word for it. Look at these folks having fun down there at KB Ski. You can see the icicles on the overhang and the boots and the snowboards gracing the hills. They're not fully open, but they did crack the door and let everybody in and get their ski on today. 27 is where we're going to park it tonight. Cloudy skies. Don't expect any precip while you sleep. As a matter of fact, what you need to know for the next few days, rain arrives on Saturday. It'll be umbrellas in the afternoon and evening. I'll give you an exact arrival time for your house in a moment, but I don't want to understate this. It will be the topic unless the Bills and the Sabres win. This will be the big story this weekend is temperatures soar on Sunday and then the snow returns next week for those of you who enjoy the frozen type of stuff. Let's get to it. As we look at the ice rink here, we're going to show you the temperatures tomorrow. Stay in the 30s until we hit 40, just about the time the rain comes in. And once we get 40, that's where we stay all the way into the evening. It will be a little breezy, but not bad. There's the rain that's going to make its way in. I've stopped the clock at seven in the morning. Everybody's dry. Not until lunchtime does some of the rain begin to inch its way into the southern tier. And I'm talking way down by the Pennsylvania line, Ripley, Clymer, possibly Jamestown at around lunchtime. By dinner time, it all works its way northward, covering everybody from Buffalo southward and then to the shoreline of Ontario around seven o'clock. Not just a light rain. This will be a steady rain umbrella necessary stuff that continues through the evening. If you have Saturday plans, Think about that before you leave the house. Now on Sunday, there's a lot less rain, even a hint that the sky is clear a little bit. And if we get any clearing, look out. Temperatures are going to soar. We're talking numbers that make it to the 50s into the afternoon. So 40s with rain in the afternoon. Just showed you the arrival times for your house. Not much rain on Sunday. We'll have you covered through the weekend. Don Paul will be in. And then as we start looking ahead to the uh, week uh, next week, 30s, 30s and more 30s with a good chance he'll be shoveling not just one, but maybe two or three out of the next seven, Keith. All right, thanks, Andy. As we all know, many of the big stores are really packed during the holiday season, and that can be pretty frustrating for shoppers.